earlier um, that uh, this is a game I have it, you know, and uh, you know, you set the tone with the way you come out and warm up and uh, how you prepare yourself, your approach. And uh, again, I've said to those guys as well, you know, this time of year is about us right now. It's not about who we're playing right now. It's about us trying to improve in the areas that we need to get better and, uh, you know, come out and, and execute and work hard on, on both ends of the floor. Your defense in the second half, though, was certainly much different than we saw in Malibu in the first half here tonight. You really got after it defensively in the second 20 minutes. Well, the hardest thing for us right now, Randy, and, you know, you saw that up there last Friday, was uh, is staying in front of the basketball. I mean, we, you know, we struggled with that for a bit, uh, better part of last season before we finally really kind of bought into staying in front of the basketball and not let guys get into the teeth of the defense. And uh, uh, that's something that we still, as a team, collectively still have, have, to, have got to get better. And it'll be something that we'll continue to work on. Uh, and, and our gap defense as well. And Darnell Taylor, I thought at the end of the first half, really got that defense going by working diligently out on the perimeter. Yeah, he's a guy that we really challenged to to, uh, to be a defensive uh, kind of not not so much a stopper for us, but a guy who comes in and brings energy on that end of the floor and uh, uh, really tries to change the game and be a physical guard for us. Emmanuel played 36 minutes tonight. You don't know how many minutes you're going to need from him moving forward until you get that ruling tomorrow about Caesar. How would you critique his performance start to finish tonight? Again, I think, um, you know, I thought Emmanuel was much more uh, the defensive minded kind of guy we had in the second half than we had in the first half. I thought we still let guys get a little bit comfortable, um, especially in the first half there. We still had guys and still not engaged in pressing the ball the way we want to. Uh, and him in particular, I mean, that's something that we have to have from him night in and night out when he comes in, no matter, you know, when we get Caesar back or not. When he's in the game, we need him to be a guy who really causes havoc on the other end for the point guard who's trying to initiate offense. We figure you would have a distinct size advantage and maybe be able to take advantage of it. I don't know that Terrell or Brayton really did, but it looked like Karachi really did tonight. What did you see from him and, and what looked like a step forward kind of game for him? Well, we needed that. We needed one of those guys to kind of, you know, when tonight was going to be a hard matchup for our big guys. You know, we needed a night that, uh, you know, they were going to be 6'4", six, 6'3", six, across the board, and guys that could all shoot the basketball. And, makes it very difficult for our post guys uh, and uh, guys of size to have to get out and guard guys on the perimeter, whether they're in a ball screen action, whether they're picking and popping. It, it's extremely difficult. It's a hard team to match up against and play against when you play play against small ball, and, and in particular when it's five guards out there. But, uh, you know, I still wanted those guys to work hard on staying in front of the basketball and still staying engaged as well. And we knew every, all five spots had to have really good shooter defense. I know you said that uh, you never recruited a player with more natural leaping ability than Karachi. Have you ever seen a guy that high up on an alley oop before? Karachi is a guy now who, uh, you know, he'll give you some highlight plays, no question about that. I think, uh, you know, in moving forward, you know, we still, we're still challenging him to, to, I thought toward the end of last year, he really took a step forward defensively with his communication, with his energy and, and activity. And we, we need to get that back. And, um, you know, this year in, in the first game, he had to play a guy who could put the ball on the deck a little bit of Stacey Davis at the four. And, I think to get selling them back in to, at the five is going to be really, really critical for us. And Paul Watson, who's to your right here, I know you look very comfortable that over four spot. That, that seems to be, Coach, and Paul, you can talk about it. That's the position where you feel so comfortable at the number four. Yeah, uh, me and Coach, we uh, got together uh, in last practice, and uh, Julian was he's back in the lineup. So I'm, I'm, I'm back to the four spot. And uh, yeah, I am comfortable with it. Uh, I did run it last year, and uh, I just try to take advantage of bigger uh, posts trying to come out and guard on the perimeter and just use uh, my, my guard skills to my advantage. And it's obviously nice when that three starts to fall. It's a lot different on Friday. Now you felt comfortable when you were knocking down three. That has to be a great feeling when you, you have the feel for the basket like that. Definitely. I, I got into a rhythm early and uh, I tried to get out uh, before the game, get some uh, shots up, and it, it worked for me. Other questions for Coach Terry or Paul Watson? Coach, what was the most important thing you got out of well, I think with the thing that we really tried to do, uh, our whole mindset, you know, again, this time of year is trying to build our defense, you know, and, and it took us a better half of the whole year, a year ago, to, to really understand the urgency that you have to play with on defense. And we're still trying to build that right now. That's got to be an identity for us, night in and night out. We got to know that, you know, if we're not making shots, that we can at least count on our defense. And you know, that'll, that'll be something that we'll have to, you know, continue to build and build every day in practice, every day, every night out in games. 
uh, to where we're, uh, I think we've got a chance to be a decent defensive team, you know, once we really buy in and do it consistently for, for 40 minutes.